need a noise generator. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't want the traditional noise generator, just the output that says noise and it goes and that's it. So uh, when I was working it, with it, I was, I was basically constantly thinking about audio and not really about um, uh, slower patterns. And uh, if I would actually think about a sort of semi-random pattern generator mm -hmm. uh, and eventually discover that it can also do audio, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's, it's where you start and where you work from. It's sort of like, uh, do you start at the bottom and you go to the top of the hill or do you start at the top of the hill and you go to the bottom? You know, it's the same road you walk but in another direction and that gives you other things. So basically, uh, I think that, you know, because noise itself is not really that interesting as a sound, but the patterns, and especially the slower patterns, are, are much more interesting. Uh, if I would have started from the idea of patterns and then eventually finding out that it could also make noise, mm -hmm. it would probably have been different but it would have been different, maybe more suitable for the system. I don't know, but it's it's possible. But maybe also not. It's, it's, uh, so it's uh, it's uh, it's uh, maybe a Wrangler is a run out of hand noise generator, or this Wrangler module is a run out of hand noise generator, and it became more, but. Yeah, I did. I, because I, I focused on the noise idea. I, 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 because I very much like noise bands, uh, which is also a lot used by by uh, Jan Boerman. So basically, if you if you put noise to a very narrow band, becomes really narrow but you create several of these bands and you tune them in chords then you get a, a, a really nice effects uh, another option is if you use a pitch shifter and feedback the pitch shifter so you put this sound into a mixer then the mixer into the pitch shifter and then the output of the pitch shifter back into the mixer to add to the input of the pitch shifter so they you get this build up of, 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 uh, of uh, Quints or co uh, chords or thirds or and it sort of spreads out and then with the noisy kind of if you use these noise bands as an input you get this sort of very eerie wide mysterious sounds. So which you can sometimes also get when you modulate the filter.
this and quietly and relaxing. Take 10 minutes until it suddenly falls into a chord and, and then it's like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. And that's basically because uh, actually you can have that effect also with the envelopes. Like if an envelope is sweeping really fast. nice about the twin peak filter. Because we can operate it in different ways and Cheapers. 
short echoes spread out in space, finely tuned so you get a sort of uh, early reflections from the wall against you, but like there's nothing behind you, so it doesn't build up a reverb tail. Cigarette, and then I think it's time to just.